Hey, what's up? This is Juan from Perfecto 3D Groove Nation Records. Today I am going to show you how to export DAS animation into iClone. So you could then live link it into Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. Here goes the character we'll be using. Olga will be using her as our model. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import her into iClone. Now we're going to go into Daz. Okay, we find the animation we want. We're going to use this one. Okay, here it goes. It's in the animate light. Now you can do it that way or you can drag it into the animate timeline like that. You can drag another one, drag another one. As long as you need the animation, you can drag them. Now, after you drag them in, you can actually grab them and butt them up like this. And then once you butt them up, you select them. Once you have them selected, you go to this thingy here, reorient, start, right click, Bake the studio keyframes. You're going to get this window and just press yes. And then this animation ends up on the timeline. So here we go. Back up our model here. And that's our animation. So once we have that in there, we go to File, Export, we name it, Save, Figures, Animations, Locks, Morphs, Embedded Textures, press Accept. Okay, we're done here. We go to iClone. What I usually do is I will go to my desktop and just grab it, drop it in. You get this message and yes, you just convert all. And there we go. It is now inside of iClone. And you can export it via live link or you can grab the FBX file and drop it in Unreal Engine, uh, the Unreal Engine way. Uh, now there's a little uh, penetration here on the sides. Uh, as you can see, you could fix all that uh, here. I guess I can show you that too real quick. Um, go to Window, Modify, and we go to edit motion layer we grab that arm and we go to the rotate gizmo and you pull it out make sure that this is in the beginning and then we'll do the elbow like that so now there we go no penetration at all anyway that is how you do that and thank you for watching hope you learned something see you next time